इन्होंने कोई भी कोचिंग नहीं लिया था मतलब अपनी सेल स्टडी से इन्होंने ग्रेड क्रैक किया है बस इन्होंने फिजिक्स वाला की और गेट वाला की जो हमारी फास्ट ट्रैक सीरीज होती है जो हम यूट्यूब पे चलाते हैं रिवीजन सीरीज उसको ज्वाइन किया और इन्होंने टेस्ट सीरीज ज्वाइन किया फिजिक्स वाला का और गेट वाला का और उसी के माध्यम से इतने टफ पेपर में इतने अच्छे मैथ्स और इतनी अच्छी रैंक लेके आए हैं आई सो दॉ ऑफ YouTube resources available for free. So I I followed a lot of your crash courses and all other physics wala teachers. Test series was my only source of attempting questions. So hello dear students and aaj hamare saath hain Ayush Talati and he is a ranker. He is a ranker of Gate 2024. His rank is 40 and his marks is 59.33 in Gate 2024 Electronics branch. एंड मतलब इनका फिनोमिनल परफॉर्मेंस रहा है बिकॉज मैंने इनका स्टोरी थोड़ा सा देखा और ट्रैक किया तो इन्होंने मुझे बताया कि इन्होंने कोई भी कोचिंग नहीं लिया था मतलब अपनी सेल स्टडी से इन्होंने ग्रेड क्रैक किया है बस इन्होंने हमारी फिजिक्स वाला की और गेट वाला की जो हमारी फास्ट ट्रैक सीरीज होती है जो हम यूट्यूब पे चलाते हैं रिविजन सीरीज उसको ज्वाइन किया और इन्होंने टेस्ट सीरीज ज्वाइन किया फिजिक्स वाला का और गेट वाला का और उसी के माध्यम से इतने टफ पेपर में इतने अच्छे मैथ्स और इतनी अच्छी रैंक लेके आए हैं so so Ayush first of all very congratulations so, this whole uh, session will be a motivating session to all the students who think that self study cannot give you good rank so first of all Ayush please tell me how you were preparing for this gate exam why you were preparing and a brief intro about yourself about a, your background and how you prepared for gate 2024 what was the motivation behind it and you were actually mainly doing self study so can you please motivate the students can you please tell the students about the strategy how you were actually doing the self study so i i couldn't get any good placements after my btech uh so i thought i would uh, i would try for either going to abroad or try for a uh, gate and get a good college in india but currently i don't want to leave my hometown or like my city so i i started preparing for gate around august 10 i didn't even know about gate before august but i started preparing uh, for gate on in august 10 and i saw there was a lot of youtube resources available for free a lot of and i only had 4 or 5 months so i couldn't take the entire course i could only work with the crash courses so i i followed a lot of your crash courses and all uh, others other physics wala teachers and uh, yeah it was pretty helpful okay and uh, what role test series play in your preparation i started giving test series at the end of december I think it's really important to do test series that's how you actually know if you can actually apply what you have learned in the crash courses uh, like I said I did not have much time to you know do questions from textbooks or mm -hmm. test series was my only source of attempting questions it also makes a uh, exam like environment for you of course so you can handle that pressure of 3 hours so test series are pretty yes so uh, many students like uh, prepare for one year and they actually are not able to actually get a good rank in gate exam but you were able to, you started a preparation in august and you were able to get a good rank in like 5 to 6 or 7 months preparation uh, what do you think what was your strong point matlab uh, you were having some kind of background you were having good knowledge of the subjects in your btech colleges itself what was your strong point uh, sir i would say that i actually really enjoy electronics so uh, during btech as well i had a good grasp of concepts i had a drop year before gate so i had actually forgotten a lot of stuff but when i was in college in my btech i had a good understanding of my concepts also when i was preparing for gate i did not have to worry about going to college like a lot of students do i was already mm. done with my graduation so i could just uh, give in my entire day for 4 5 months I think that helped me a lot. Okay, so I would say uh, in your colleges, you actually studied the subjects from the reference books, or you were following the lectures of your teachers in the college. I had good teachers, so I would just follow the lectures of my teachers. So I didn't follow any reference. Okay, I think all the teachers are good. Like all the te teachers in all the colleges are good, but uh, students are actually not paying attention in the colleges. That's why they they are into like four years of BTEC. After four years of BTEC, they have no knowledge about any subject. So I think all the students who will watch this uh, uh, interview or a session of Ayush will get a kind of confidence that they must 
and it is very important to pay attention in college you have to study in college you have to uh, go through all the subjects you have to enjoy like uh, ayush is saying you have to enjoy your branch and once you enjoy na i think studies become like much more happier and uh, the thing that we study in four years if you have some kind of background then a very very little guidance is enough to actually crack gate exam what do you say no i would definitely agree so uh, enjoy your studies in btech and mainly i i think uh, invest a lot of time in projects and stuff like that and actually you know try and build things if you if you like your branch and uh, yeah and if you do that if you have a basic understanding of your concepts then cracking gate is not very uh, exactly yeah hmm. so i think um, uh, the students who actually study in colleges they need a very little guidance and they will be able to crack the gate exam because this time also the gate exam of electronics was little tough it was it was having some good questions were there and um, and if you are scoring like 60 65 marks you are getting a very very good rank like 40 rank is very good at 59.33 marks mm. uh, many students are actually focusing into every set everything like what do you say like you were able to complete entire syllabus or you were actually leaving some kind of topics i was definitely not completing the entire syllabus exactly my strategy was since i have less time i started with the subjects that i like and the subjects that were easy so i started with control systems analog electronics and i left communication systems for a later time like december or november which was a mistake because it's a i think it was difficult for me and also this time gate i think it had a lot of good questions from mm -hmm. so till the end i struggled with communication i think i left all i only scored like one or two marks out of 10 or 12 what was asked in comps but yeah what worked for me is that i focused on the easy subjects that i liked and i focused on maths and aptitude and i think that worked for me mm -hmm. i think that's a good strategy uh, because many of the students like they are preparing for one year they think that they have a lot of time and they want to cover each and every topic like even though they are difficult topics there are difficult topics in all the subject like emt edc uh, emft and log also so they actually try to focus on those difficult subjects the difficult topics of those subjects and they are wasting lot of time first thing second thing is they are actually investing more time on those topics which are least important they are difficult but they are least important on gate so i think your strategy was very clear and uh, it was uh, very much good strategy because if any student pays focus on the easy subjects and even though difficult subjects also have some easier parts so if difficult subjects are there don't focus on the difficult part of the difficult subjects focus on easier part of the difficult subjects and they will you will be able to score good in the competitive exams like it so i think that your strategy will be helpful for all the students who have less time and for those also who have more time like for 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 full year they are preparing and they'll be uh, they'll be very beneficial from your strategy uh, what do you think like uh, how much you were getting marks in your test series in my test series i was always between 50 and 70 so i don't think i ever scored 70 in my test series but uh, i was always between 50 and 70 and in the end i got 60 marks so i think that was a good reflection mm. of how i was practicing and what i got okay so like uh, what do you think like what what rank you were getting in your test series in test series i had actually two test series in mm -hmm. one of them i was consistently uh, number 1 but i think that's because uh, not a lot of people the students are giving yes so i think that was the reason because even at lower scores i got number mm -hmm. but i was around 10 between 10 and 40 or something like that okay so um, but when you were getting low scores like you were getting 50 40 45 something like that uh, were you getting demotivated with that marks so i i don't remember being demotivated by looking at a score because i know that some test series are made difficult some mm -hmm. are made a little easier so what i noticed was that in some test series i scored less but i still got the same rank Mm -hmm. or a similar rank so that just told me okay maybe this was difficult for everyone so all i need to do is just look at what went wrong and uh, where can i improve 
and like i okay. told you if i went wrong in communications i did not really put too much time but if i went wrong in analog electronics or if i went wrong in digital electronics so i made sure that i corrected my mistakes so actually i asked this question to you because uh, there was a motive behind it uh, actually i wanted to tell all the students who will watch this uh, video i want to tell you that even if you are getting 45 50 marks in your test series don't get upset don't get demotivated because as ayush is saying that some test series are made difficult some are made easier some tests are difficult some tests are easier the only thing is you have to find out your mistakes work on it and rectify it and a very important point from uh, his strategy is don't focus on difficult part of difficult subjects focus on the easier part of the difficult subjects and all the other subjects for example like digital electronics control systems um, network theory these are easier subjects and make sure that any question from these uh, subjects are not missed in your test as well as in your exam hall okay so uh, what do you think about your future ayush what are you planning for sir i would like to do my mtech preferably in iit bombay uh, it's okay. something like microelectronics or something and uh, i have worked with a biomedical research co not research company but a biomedical company before so probably i would go in that direction making robots or making systems that are used in uh, medical device uh, this is also a very important thing like many of the students completing btech they don't have any idea where to go and uh, what you are actually giving inputs it is very much clear that you have a very clear mindset that where i have to go where what all things i have to do like a similar thing when i was doing mtech in my iit delhi we have one senior and his name was uh, tahir i don't remember his surname tire khokhe wala something he was from gujarat so uh, he was very much uh, like uh, from day one when he joined iit delhi he was very much clear that he has to go uh, into um, uh, into opera opera was a company that actually do uh, some kind of market uh, strategy something like that and uh, he was starting from the day one he was preparing for that for he was doing questions he was studying for that he, he was preparing his test like because the companies who came from placement for placement they actually take test so he was like preparing from day one for that company he was targeting that company so he was very much clear for the future like that person you are also very much clear i would suggest all the students who are actually completing btech they don't have any idea where to go where will they will go after doing btech so a kind of uh, motivation from your story is that all the students completing your btech they should have a kind of a, a little not 100% a little a plan for the future that i'll prepare for gate exam i'll go into iit delhi or bombay or ic bangalore madras kanpur anywhere but my like final end is this i want to go into this company i want to work in this field this is very important and because i think that thing is actually a motivating factor for preparing for gate exam or any other competitive exam okay so there was a any plan b ayush was there any plan b like if a gate oh, would have went wrong actually didn't have a plan b i i think having a plan b makes your plan a fail so, exactly so i just i knew i had to do good enough to get any branch in any college and i just gave my 4 5 months to that and uh, i'm happy that it worked out for me great great so um, i think many of the students um, who will be taking drop I, I, we will have another session for all the students who will be taking drop but from ayush story i would like to say to all the students who are taking drop or who are planning to take drop or who are planning for gate exam i would say that don't have any kind of plan b because many students who prepare for gate exam they actually side by side they give engineering services isro brc uh, upbcl and all the state exams also but uh, if you have any kind of plan b c d e f all the plans will fail like plan a gate exam will also fail so, so have only one target first of all try to crack gate exam go into some iit or an iit and then you can plan kind of any kind of plan b or c um so it is very much clear that uh, two things or i would say four or five things are concluding from uh, ayu story first is you should have a clear picture of your future like the where you want to go and what is your kind of uh, field in which you want to work second is five to six months of preparation or seven months of preparation is more than enough if your strategy is very good 
Third thing is test series are very important and but the test series marks are not important like don't worry about your marks if you are getting low score doesn't matter work on your mistakes and try to improve it and fourth thing is there are difficult parts in your syllabus there are easier parts on your syllabus so if you are focusing on the easier part then also if you are getting 65 70 marks in your final gate exam they are more than enough get yourself into iit or any good college so these are the four concluding remarks. Ayush, what you will say to the, all the aspirants who are preparing for gate 25 or 26? I, I don't know. I, I haven't prepared anything, but I guess, uh, like sir said, just to sum it up, you can do it in five, six months. It's not impossible. And just believe in yourself and uh, aim for AIR1 and you, you should be fine. So great, Ayush. Thanks for uh, joining. I'm sure that at rank 40, you will directly get into IIT Bombay. Uh, there will be in first round itself, like without any um, other option taking into mind. But if you like, there is a course I would like to suggest IIT Delhi VDTT, VLSI Design Tools and Technology. Uh, wo JVL ke naam se dega. JVL, IIT Delhi. JVL ke naam se dikhai dega, VLSI Design Tools and Technology. This is also very good. Uh, my MTech is in this branch itself. So in this branch, you will be getting scholarships from the companies itself. So there are two, three rounds of interviews mm -hmm. uh, and the companies are sponsoring this uh, MTech program. So directly you can work with the company during your MTech. So Check it out. 40 rank pe aapko IIT Bombay directly mil jayega bina kisi issue ke matlab wo to bina interview ke mil jayega but side by side if you if you want to like you can try this IIT Delhi VLSI design tools technology branch also a very beautiful very good branch only toppers um, uh, uh, around 100 or 120 rank students are getting call for this okay um, thank you sir. IC Bangalore is also good but uh, VLSI design, VTT is like, is way better than any other ISC Bangalore or IIT Bombay. Any other kind of help for counseling or any doubt uh, in your mind? I, I mean, I didn't know that they don't take interviews in IIT Bombay, like you said. IIT Bombay is interview, yeah, direct admission. Hai. So, yeah, so I think that would make things easier. But I will still mm -hmm. uh, talk to your student and I think that should be mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. 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 Great. Great, Ayush. Thank you. Bye. Bye.